You've made the right decision, in my opinion, and you plan to put bigger tires on your vehicle. Now, whether it's just there for looks, or maybe you actually want to make it perform better off-road by raising its ground clearance, the next step after choosing your tire size has to be calculating what new gears you're going to put into the axle. If you're only making a little jump, like maybe from a 31 to a 33, you're usually okay running the stock gear ratio. But big jumps from like a 31 up to a 37 or even a 40, I'm looking at you JL owners, you have to re-gear the axles to compensate for the larger tire that you've now installed. It's a pretty easy calculation. You simply take the size of the new tire, divide it by the size of the old tire, and then multiply it by whatever gear ratio is already in the axle. That'll tell you what gear ratio you need to put in the vehicle in order for it to act like it's still riding around on stock tires. Now, I know some of you JL guys are out there and you're gonna say, oh, I don't need to do that because the salesman told me that my eight-speed automatic transmission will automatically compensate for these larger tires that I plan to put on. The salesman lied to you. Everything that is amazing about that eight-speed automatic transmission, you are throwing it out the window if you put a 40 on your JL and don't put new gears in the axle. You're not gonna accelerate as quickly, you're not gonna perform the same, and you're definitely not gonna get as good a fuel mileage because your vehicle is not gonna drop in to high gear when it's out on the highway. Even if you just plan to pavement princess that JL all over town, stopping at every mall that you see, if you've put 40s on it, trust me, you want to put gears in the axle. It's the right decision. Now you know.